hello everyone and here is my what three video i know I'm not good at posting but i will get better if you're new to my channel my name is juliana and i am the fiance of someone who is now a basic training for the air force and i'm just documenting my journey and being able to like help other people who are going through the same thing as me so let's just jump right into week three since like now i'm on week four so week three got a lot easier just because I did get his two pieces of mail and so it was a little encouragement and it was also good because I knew he was doing so well. But week three was also my birthday. My birthday's February 7th. I just turned 22, which, oh my gosh, I'm getting so old. Um, but I was like, I just want a phone call this week, either on my birthday or like, I don't, and obviously you don't know when the phone calls are coming, so... I just had to like hope that I was going to get it at a time that I could answer the phone and I was hoping I'd get it on my birthday because I just wanted to hear him say happy birthday. So one night I was, I went out with my friend and on the way home, I just decided to drive a little further on the highway. I was listening to music. I was just like, let me just have some me time before I go home. And on my car, so like my phone hooks up to my car. So when someone calls me, like it'll like list it on the like dashboard. So I was like driving, listening to music, my music cut off and I just thought that like I hit a dead zone, but then it said like Sam on the like dashboard that he was calling. So I was like frantically getting my phone and like I answered it and he was like, hello. And I was like, oh my gosh, and I started crying. And um, let me tell you, you need to write down questions. And like in my situation, I, there was no way I could have even like tried to find the questions that I had or think about the questions I had because I was driving. So it's not like I could have just gotten on my phone and looked at it. And I was like on a stretch of highway there were, where there was no exit. So I completely blanked. And so we like sat there for a minute just saying, I love you and I miss you, which was so cute. And then I just like asked him random questions and we only had 15 minutes. So in the background, you can hear all the MTIs just screaming like how many like minutes they have left. And like you start getting like anxious because you're like, oh my gosh, we're down to like five minutes. But... I somehow got off on the wrong exit to try to get home because I was just so flustered and I got lost and it was really foggy that night. So I was really lost. Like I drove a while just on, like for 15 minutes, I just drove out into the middle of nowhere, like, cause I was on the phone and I couldn't get on my GPS cause I didn't want to miss any time talking to him. So we talked to, what did we talk about? He sang me happy birthday, which was super sweet. Um, he told me that him and a couple of his wingmen, um, instead of going to church on Sundays, they all kind of have like a Bible study and like read verses in the Bible, which I thought was really cute. Um, let's think, I can't really remember. I wish I had questions because like now I have a ton of questions and on the next call, he's going to be calling his mom. So, I mean, I guess I could like text her and ask her to ask the questions that, shoot, sorry. I guess I could text her and ask her to like ask him the questions I have, but I'm just going to hope that he answers them in a letter. But so far he hasn't answered any questions I've asked in a letter, which is fine because I understand. Oh, he told me he only has 30 minutes to write, read, and to like take the letter to the mailbox. So if I'm not getting a ton of letters, that's why. He said he was having a good time. He also said that the next day he was going to have his second PT test and was going to let me know how that went. Um, it was 15 minutes flies by, like I'm counting down the days constantly. I'm like 30 days, whatever. And 15 minutes flies by. So take advantage of it while you're on the phone. Oh, funny, sad story. So I'm on the phone and I'm like crying and like lost. So I'm like frantic and all of a sudden, like it's foggy. So I can't see this rabbit comes out of the corn or like the bushes and I hit it, I hit it full force. And then I started crying more because then I was like, I just killed the bunny rabbit. It was very sad, but I'm okay now. <laughs> the rabbit's not, which makes me really sad, but it's okay. Um, I did not receive any letters this week, but it was my birthday and I was glad that I was able to get a phone call at least the week of my birthday, it made things so much better. So now I'm gonna get into what this week consisted of for them. 
Um, they got their second clothing issue this week, which would be their blues, which I'm, I'm like so excited to see him in his uniform because, whew. Anyways, I think they also get their like name plate things sewn on to their ABUs. They get more airman's time, which I think is like time they have, like their MTI is teaching them. So it's, I don't think it's like an actual class. Um, they do cyber awareness, they do more detailing, um, they learn about dress and appearance, and let's see what else, more weapons breakdown, I'm assuming that's like a weekly thing, just to like learn and to like how much faster you can get at like assembling and deassembling, taking apart, you know, <laughs> breaking down, <laughs> that's what I meant, um, they got their phone call, which, um, if you're on the Facebook page, constantly check it because after I got the, off the phone with him uh, and got home, I looked on the Facebook page and as people were getting phone calls, they were posting on the Facebook page and saying, I just talked to my to my son or my daughter and like just know that like they're calling, everyone be prepared. So if I was at home and was on my Facebook, I would have like been more prepared to kind of know that he was calling, but they're not guaranteed a call. So don't always get your hopes up. They get interview sessions this week. Also don't know what that means. They have more physical training and just more rules and classes and whatnot. So that is week three. It went by a lot faster because I had my birthday to like look forward to. I was really busy with work. I was working long shifts. So I also have my classwork that I work on. So it was, it was a good week. So now, I'm just waiting for Valentine's Day because on the 15th, I know Valentine's Day is on the 14th, but the 15th will mark a month till I get to go see him. And I'm like, no, it's a month till his graduation. I get to see him. On, so technically Thursday. Thursday will be a month till I get to see him. And today, which is February 11th, 12th, February 12th, is 30 days till I get to see him. So I am so excited. So right now we are in Watt 4. They're over halfway done. It's just, time will fly by, trust me. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and following me on this journey. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will be including the like questionnaires down below and the Air Force Wing Moms page and anything that I've been using as resources for you guys. Um, and I will catch you next week for the Watt 4 video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time.